Hi, this is a quick demo of the new geospatial visualization features in JSON Studio version 1.3 for MongoDB. Um, so MongoDB has very robust support for geospatial queries and representing geospatial objects. And in 1.3, we added the ability to visualize and, and, and query um, geodata. Uh, so I'll give you a few examples of what this looks like. Um, and the first thing I'll do is I'll log into my database through the studio uh, and I'll pick a collection that I know has some points. So AZIPS is a collection. If I just run a query as is, uh, it'll bring me the first hundred documents in this collection. You see that uh, these collections are uh, US zip code data. So every document has the zip code itself, which state it's in what the population is and where the location is. So say that I want to uh, see, and you know, if I take out the limit, you know, it'll show me I have like 29,000 zip codes. Um, and maybe the first thing I want to see is really uh, see where in the US there are zip codes with uh, large populations. So I'll, I want to query based on the population. So what I'll do is I'll use a larger than operator. I'll double click on the 6055. Um, so I can see there are 10,000. That's a little too much. Maybe I'll increase it to 60,000. There's 163. So that's 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 manageable. Um, so and 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 I can sort this. So I'll uh, alt double click or I'll control double click on the population. I'll say I want it descending. Um, so I'll get it. You see the, the largest uh, zip code in the U.S. is in Chicago. It has 112,000 people. And then the next one is in Brooklyn. So not terribly surprising. Um, and normally, you know, I can view this as JSON data. Um, and let, let, me, uh, let me look at everything, all these documents. So I can uh, scroll down, see all the zip codes. Or I can view this as a tabular format. Um, and in version 1.3, we added the geospatial visualization. So now I can click this button over here, and it'll open up a map. And what it does is it centers the map based on all the things that I'm plotting. So, you know, if you look at uh, where these large zip codes are, it's not uh, terribly surprising. Maybe I would want to see what this is. This is Memphis. This is Alton, Brownsville. Uh, but a lot of the others are in California and in New York and in the Northeast, Chicago, things like that. Um, and every time I click on one of these things, I get the 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 document, the JSON document, as the query returns. So, for example, if I wanted to um, only have some fields, I would change the query to do a projection, and then I'd see only some fields. Every time I click on Every, every time I click on a marker, it, it opens this up, but it also shows it up here, because um, sometimes these documents are fairly large. And and the other thing, I have all of the documents that I'm now representing on the map, and I can just uh, go down and click it. So, you know, for example, here, I don't know where Bell Gardens is, so I can click it, and it centers it around it, and it can view satellite images. This is all Google Maps type things. This isn't uh, specific to the studio. But the studio does use the most advanced uh, Google Maps API, and all the functions are there. And if I zoom, it remembers the zoom. So next time I come, it'll 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 have that data there. And the other nice thing is every time that I uh, touch the map, so say that I, you know, I'm I I I, I want to search things around, say Seattle, right? So what I'll do is I click it over here. And then what will happen is it'll create a template for me for a query. If I go back here and put this in and just uh, put the field where which has the the geo data and define which radius I'm looking for. So maybe it's a zero zero one, and maybe relax a little bit the um, the population number. Okay, I'll run the query again. You see now it's displaying. Um, only 70 zip codes and you see they're all in Washington State and if I go back to the map and hit the refresh button you'll see that they're all very centrally located where I touch the map and therefore and and based on which I did the query right so if I uh, uh, drill down over here now I'm really seeing all the zip codes 
in this area that are that, that are within that radius that I put in the uh, in the in the uh, uh, geo within query. And the reason I use geo within is specifically because it works regardless of whether I have a 2D or a 2D sphere index. But if I have a 2D sphere index and I want to use other things, you know, that's that's perfectly fine. So that's uh, one example. The the other thing is that um, the type of data that JSON Studio will plot is uh, the entire uh, geotypes that MongoDB supports. So, for example, let me uh, log into my uh, just the database I play with uh, with all kinds of data. I have a really small collection with all of these types. Um, so, you know, for example, if I open, let me put it in a tabular format because it's easier to see. Uh, I have some some documents here that have kind of the classic uh, uh, two coordinate field, so a, so a field with an array of two coordinates. I have documents that have an X field and a Y field. I have documents that have a sub document that have an X and a Y. I have I have some that have a sub document with a lat and a long, and then I have documents which have true GeoJSON data. So this is a point in GeoJSON, and this is a line string in GeoJSON, and this is a polygon in GeoJSON. And all of these are supported by the studio. So if I open the map um, and you know uh, zoom out, because it always centers it based on all of the collections, remembering what the previous zoom level was, then you'll see that I have everything all the way from um, uh, points, I have lines, and, and you can see every time I click on something, the, the document is displayed here. So this is a point, and this is a line, okay, so it, it shows me that this is a line string with the coordinates of the line, and this is a polygon, so it shows me that this is a, a type polygon, and this is the, uh, the, the outer frame of the polygon. So it's, uh, so you can represent pretty much any geographic data that MongoDB can store. So this was a, a fairly quick demo of uh, the new geospatial visualization features in MongoDB. Uh, this is only available in JSON Studio version 1.3 and up. Thank you.